My research concerns development of gene therapy tools for gene therapy in the central nervous system, the brain. Uh, we aim to find tools to utilize modern molecular medicine to specifically target that to certain cells and in the nervous system and to set the right level in the nervous system. The greatest challenge for this research is really to be at the right place, at the right time, at the right level. That means that you need to be in the right cell, the cell that needs the remedy. You need to be there at the right time when the cell needs the remedy, and you need to be there at the right level. So those are challenges, because partly we understand that, how the brain and nature does that, but partly we don't. But we do think that it is an important aspect of gene therapy to the central nervous system. The short-term goals for our research, the time span two or three years, would be to get a system where you can have genes in the brain that you can regulate, like a volume button outside. Like, for example, you take a drug and you turn them on or you turn them off, which is in accordance to the level of the disease so that you can give the appropriate amount of remedy, i.e. gene therapy, to the symptoms that are experienced. That's the short-term goals in animal models of Parkinson's disease at this point. Yeah, to really get to the, the promise of molecular medicine, we are now in a situation where we start knowing much more about molecular mechanisms of disease and to actually transfer that and use that to make medicine. That's the long-term goals. And gene transfer and gene therapy is one part of that. And actually turning that into a medicine in patients, in people that actually suffer, that's the long-term lifetime achievement. Driving force for my, personally for my research is two-sided. I would say that one big driving force is uh, the fact that we work with something that is needed for patients with diseases. We are working on ways of trying to find treatments and cures for diseases that have a few or insufficient treatments and no cures. That's a basic driving force that is important. Then on the other hand, there's also the driving force of the fun of it, of sitting with data, looking at data, analyzing it, trying to understand what it means and getting new hypotheses to test and as a consequence of that, doing that with colleagues and students is a lot of fun. And that's also primary driving force, I'd say.